What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have the Cavalier Galan boss. And this guy, he's pretty tough to deal with as well. Kind of like Quicksilver. Uh, but yeah, those bosses, all like both of them are kind of tough. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this guy's notes first as usual. Uh, so this guy has... Knocking down the defender with a Mystic Champion inflicts a passive neutralize of 100% potency onto the defender lasting for 6 seconds. This is really really good for us, so uh, immediately you want to use a Mystic Champion because this guy is all about buffs and if he gets buffs, like I'm going to explain his abilities, if he gets buffs, it's game over basically. And then personal plays, while the attacker is close to the defender, he has a ch he, is, he gains a fury every 3 seconds, increasing his attack 10% permanently. And staying away uh, causes those fury to fall off. And then he's got backup resistance, so when the defender's health drops below 30, every 7 seconds they gain a resist physical, buff, and a resist energy. Each of 30% potency, but that's not... He doesn't care about the potency, he just wanted to give them a buff. For the note. And then he's got fight or flight every 12, 12 seconds. If you're close to the defender, they're gonna get the ensemble buff. And if you are far away from the defender, you are gonna get it. And then a 10% limber. So that's his abilities. So this guy. Or at the other was uh, that was really awkward. So this guy. First of all, he's special one. Um Okay, hold on. Let me let me uh, bait a special one because I want to show you. Actually, am I gonna bait it out here? Yeah. When he gets his hammer up top here, you want to dex. See that I, I didn't fully dex it, but he, I either fully dex it in this fight or block dex. I'm pretty sure. So when he raises his hammer like that, you just dex. Or you block dex if you want to be um, consistent with that. And this guy, as you can see, he is immune to power lock. But magic is still pretty good because she can power steal. Because uh, this guy, whenever he pops a special one, he gains four furies. So that means each time he gains a buff, you can see his um, purple icon right here, it increases by 10. And defensively, if that goes to 100, he triggers like a Galactus phase uh, buff. And when that expires in like 15 seconds, um, you take a lot of dot damage. It's like, I think 20,000 or something. It's, it's like game over basically. Now you can see he's got 5 buffs, 6 buffs, so that's why he has 70. And magic is really good because when you knock this guy down with specials, you take 50% of his um, planetary off. So he had like 70, I threw 2 special 2s, he goes to 0. So that's why magic is really good. Now you can see he's got the resist uh, buffs because he's below 30. So he gained 2 of those, uh, 20 of those planetary charges. But with magic we keep knocking him down getting that neutralized from the node and also knock him down with special so we're eating up his planetary so you can see from 10 it goes to zero so you either neutralize this guy for the whole fight because if he gets 10 buffs it's game over he becomes a slowable he becomes he can, gets a regen he's got a true sense but yeah magic does both she knocks him down with a special to eat his planetary charges and she knocks him down every like six seconds so you can get that buff but yeah we're gonna bait another special one here i think i'm gonna fully dex that one so pay attention to that his hammer is going up boom you just dex and that is it for galan so <laughs> that like magic made it a little bit easier than it was but yeah let's go ahead and talk about the best options for this guy so the best options for this guy because of this neutralized node is only mystic champions like if there is another champion, which I don't remember now on the top of my head, that can inflict a neutralize, is good. But you need a neutralize. Like, I'm so glad they added this buff because I was like, how am I going to do that? Because I saw the deep dive and it was tough. Like, you have to prevent his buffs because this guy, I didn't mention he's immune to nullify. So <laughs> you cannot do anything. He's immune to nullify. And I believe. Yeah, he's immune to nullify. So you can only stagger him. So Claire doesn't work with her basic attacks. Um, Scarlet Witch doesn't work. But Neutralize, it doesn't it, do, it doesn't nullify. It just prevents him from getting a buff, which is awesome. So yeah, the best options. Claire is really, really good. You can get those knockdowns. You can also heavy counter this guy. If you get a good reach on your heavy. And Claire has that. I tested that. Um, she's pretty decent. 
Uh, and also, I forgot to mention that you don't want to push into a special two because it's it's like it's, I think it's taxable, but I think even if, it, even if you dex it, you get applied with three incinerate, which definitely hurts. So try and avoid special ones. Uh, and then Doom is really good because you can probably Doom is the best option because you can get those knockdowns with the passive stun because with a passive stun ignores limber. So you can get those easy knockdowns, keep that neutralized up and up. Tigra is really good because she has neutralized on your own abilities. If there wasn't the no, that would be the best option. But I feel like she's still very good. Waken, I don't know if you guys have him. He can keep that neutralized uh, up all the time with his own abilities as well. Uh, magic is really good like we saw in the video hood is one of those options that i was close to get a solo but i didn't quite get it um it's because you gotta knock him down a ton and you you like detonate your bullets when you don't want to but you have to to keep the neutralized and he's actually pretty good because you can uh, use that invisibility and knock him down if you don't have parries with that limber uh, effect and he can steal power with that special too if you try if you try and time the invisibility with his sp2 hits and get a bunch of power back if you're lucky if you got awakened and also lastly we got rentra he's gotten neutralized as well on his own abilities if you cannot knock him down because of limber but yeah man that's gonna do it for um the cavalier boss the second boss we got quicksilver and then oh, we got a galant so yeah man really tough bosses honestly really challenging bosses i wouldn't say that you're like bs because you can definitely manage them like i sold them with four stars so they are not too bs but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video hopefully this helps you take galan down and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and i will see you in the next one